that signs and praises be given to our God in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let thanks, praises, honor be given to our Father and leader, Olumba, Olumba, Obu, in the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let thanks, praises, honor, dominion, and adoration ever be thine for now and ever more. Holy, holy, holy Lord God Almighty. Most merciful Father, most compassionate Father, and the most righteous Father. Father, here we are, thy sinful children. Father, we have come once again before thy throne of mercy. Father, we have come knowing fully well that we've sinned against the Father. Father, we've done so many unseeming things. We lie, we cheat, Father. We don't even put your words into practice. We've seen against the Father with our entire bodies. We've seen against it through our thoughts, actions, and all trances. Father, we're not worthy to be called our children. But we thank you, dear Father, for indeed you are not like man, for you have said that even though our sin be red as crimson, and that whenever we come to thee with penitent heart, confessing, all our wrongdoings. Father, he did promise to take us back. <laughs> Father, here we are, still on our bended knees, still begging and pleading, Father, for it was for that same reason that you sent your only begotten Son to come and die for the remission of all our sins. Father, we thank you so much, Father, for indeed his precious blood on the cross of Calvary has washed us clean. <laughs> both in our bodies and our souls. Father, say the thanks and praises be given to thee in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Dear Father, we thank you for your loving kindness. Thank you for all the patient. Thank you also for showing mercy. Through showing mercy, you've given each and every one of us a second chance. Amen. A second chance to be good children unto thee. A second chance to always put the face in everything that we do. A second chance to do thy work the way it is supposed to be done. A second chance to always speak the truth and practice righteousness so that it do be well with us in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> Dear Father, your children have come this morning seeking thy face. Thank you for not turning your back on us. For it was in the morning like this, Father, that he did bless your son, Jacob. Father, the rest of us have come. Thank you, Father, for spreading thy wings of love, thy wings of peace over your entire children. Father, you love us so much, you care for us so much, Father. You don't just want us to perish. That's why daily you keep teaching us to have love one for another. Thank you for always admonishing us to always do good so that only good things will follow us wherever we go. You love us so much. You care for us so much. You have come by yourself, sending no one. Father, through your coming, you've gathered all your children the world over. Thank you, dear Father, for also putting all things into ship shape order for your children. Where we don't have to envy, quarrel, or fight over. For indeed, Father, you are just enough for each and every one of us. Therefore, I say, let thanks and praises be given to thee in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Dear Father, we thank you for brotherhood of the cross and star. Thank you for making her forward ever backward name. Thank you, Father, for all the marvelous work you've been doing in our midst. Thank you, Father for transforming each and every one of us unto thyself. For they say a child must resemble his father. 
Thank you for making us to imbibe thy ways. So that all will be well with us in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Dear Father, what can we say? What can we do? On our own, we can do nothing. That is why we have handed over everything into thy mighty hands. And we sincerely pray and ask, let only thy will be done upon each and every one of us. As for all your children here, all those who are faithfully and sincerely answered, amen. amen. Father, you make sure that all is perfectly well with us for now and evermore. Amen. The thanks, praises be given to thee in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Let and praises be given to the one and only mighty, mighty God in the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, let all thanks, all praises, all honor, all wisdom, all power, all authority and supremacy be given to thee and thee alone for now and evermore. Matthew chapter 11 verse 25. Our first Bible lesson is taken from the Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 11, verse 25. At that time, Jesus answered and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because thou hast hid these things from wise and prudent, and hast revealed them unto beasts. May the Lord bless his holy word. 1 Corinthians, chapter 1, verses 19 to 25. Our second Bible lesson is taken from the first episode of Paul the Apostles to the Corinthians, chapter 1, verse 19 to 25. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise and will bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent. Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of this world? Had not God made foolish the wisdom of this world? For after that, in the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew not God. It pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. For the Jews require a sign, and the Greeks seek after wisdom. But we preach Christ crucified, unto the Jews a stumbling block, and unto the Greek foolishness. But unto them which are called both Jews and Greeks, Christ the power of God, and the wisdom of God. Because the foolishness of God is wiser than men, and the weakness of God is stronger than men. May the Lord bless his holy words. Our golden text is taken from Luke chapter 3, verses 4 through 14. Our golden text is taken from the gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 3, verse 4 to 14. As it is written in the book of the words of Isaiah, the prophet, saying, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his path straight. Every valley shall be filled, and every mountain and hill shall be brought low, and the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough ways shall be made smooth. And all flesh shall see the salvation of God. Then said he to the multitude that came forth to be baptized of him, O generation of vipers, who hath warned you to flee from wrath to come? Bring forth therefore fruits worthy of repentance, and begin not to say within yourselves, We have Abraham to our father. For I say unto you, that God is able of these stones to raise up children unto Abraham. And now also the axe is laid unto the root of the trees. Every tree, therefore, which bringeth not forth good fruit, is hand down and cast into the fire. And the people asked him, saying, What shall we do then? He answered and said unto them, He that had two coats, let him impart to him that had none. And he that had meat, let him do likewise. Then came also publicans to be baptized. 
and said unto him, Master, what shall we do? And he said unto them, Exact no more than that which is appointed you. And the soldiers likewise demanded of him, saying, And what shall we do? And he said unto them, Do violence to no man, neither accuse any falsely, and be content with your wages. May the Lord bless his holy word. Tell your brethren, how many are thankful to him? How many have a thankful heart? Because that is why we are here. Eh, God does not want anything from you. All he needs from you is a thankful heart. And how many have that thankful heart? That is, you show gratitude to God. Meaning, you appreciate what he's been doing in your life. Eh? How many? So nobody's thankful to him here. I see. Eh? I see the problem of brotherhood today. This one is afterthought now. Keep your hands down, you know? This is afterthought. Immediately I say, how many have a thankful heart? I expected everybody to raise their hands. It means you are ungrateful. You don't appreciate God. That is why you do all those things that you do. You go ahead knocking people's head, causing confusion stealing, committing all kinds of ungodly things. Because those who are thankful to God, who have a thankful heart, they don't quarrel, they don't get angry, they don't steal, they do not kill. Are you with me? I say, are you with me? Oh? Because you've been hearing this thankful heart, thankful heart. Somebody will stand here, I am very grateful to God, I'm thankful to God. And you go out there and steal. The same person, does it mean you are thankful to God? If you are thankful, then why do you steal? Why do you do all the atrocities that you do? It does not show a thankful heart. Because when you are grateful to him, you will serve him. You will work for him. And he too will also work for you. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. When you have a thankful heart, you will tell no lies. You will bear no false witness. Eh? Because the joy in your heart will not allow you to do those things. But here, you say you are thankful to God. You tell lies. You bear false witness. Does this show somebody who is thankful to God? When you are thankful to God, there's nothing else in your heart but joy, happiness, and as such, you will have no time to commit sin, to do all ungodly things. For lack of thankfulness, for ingratitude to God, showing ungratefulness to God. You commit sin. You do all kinds of things. But when you have a thankful heart, your heart will be pure. Your heart will be happy all the time. I don't mean being thankful now, no. And the next moment you turn to tiger and tigresses. You have to be happy. You have to be thankful to him all the time. Since you cannot do anything for him. The only thing you can do for him is to be happy. And he too will be happy with you. He will appreciate you. And he will do more for you. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So you see. He wants your heart. He wants you to be thankful. And when you are thankful, you sing praises to him. You rejoice with him. Like how we are rejoicing here. Huh? The wise, the wealthy, and the prudent. Do they know this thing? Huh? Do they know this thing? 
Otherwise, the world is the prudent here. They are not here because they do not know. Those are still expecting God. Our Lord Jesus Christ to crash land. Some would even tell you he cannot come again, he's gone. You know? But here, we know that he is here in our midst. And as long as you are thankful, remain thankful, remain grateful to him, he will continue to do more for you. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. If you are thankful, will you go to the native doctor? Huh? But today, don't some people from here go to native doctor. I want so so and so to die. I want to give that person madness. What do you gain from it? Is it when you get somebody mad or give somebody sickness, God will be clapping for you? Huh? God will say, well done, my child, right? So this is it. When you are happy, when you are thankful to him, I guarantee you, he will not have any time to think of evil. You'll be doing good. And you must do good all the time. Because the more good you do, with a pure heart, with a happy heart, with a thankful heart, he will continue to bless you. It's not for you to do good and then you go home and cry and regret. Oh, that was my last cover. Why did I give it out? Uh -uh, not that one, no. You do it with joy. You do it with happiness. And I tell you, you will replenish your purse. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. This is where we are without a thankful heart. You still be carrying long faces. And with long face, will your situation change? Is that not the long face that make you to go and steal? Make you to go and deprive your brother of his possession? Because of long face. So, have a thankful heart. And be blessed forever. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Have a thankful heart. Huh? He will not bother about signs and wonders. Today, people are using signs of wonder to open churches. They do magic for you. They say they healed you. By the time you get home, your pain is still there. What kind of healing is that? So the Jews are still here amongst us, looking for signs and wonders. There is nothing God cannot do for you. But you must have a thankful heart. Eh. All these stone-hearted people, throw stone heart away, have a thankful heart, and see whether it will not bless you. We've been taught here, as the Supreme Father has taught us time without number, that we should be thankful. Even in bad situations, be thankful to him. Because he knows why he allows the bad situation to reach you. In good old, he said, thank him. In every situation you find yourself, you have to be thankful to him. But do we do that? Why is God allowing this thing to happen to me? You question God. Eh? You blame God. Remember, there is nothing God cannot do. He just sang that song now, a little while ago. There is nothing God cannot do. He can do and undo. He can make and unmake. Your own is to thank him. And he will do more for you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. See now, Brother Michael Yesen was testifying here the other day. How the sister was deceived and she left the house. Eh. When he finally caught up with them, the people were jittery. And they told their pastor, Sir, the man has come oh, demanding for his children. What did the pastor say? With candles and everything. He says, sprinkle salt everywhere. Put salt on the roof of the house in order for him to forget himself. Did the man forget himself? 
Even the power of salt that was kept on the roof, did they see it again? Who took the salt? I said there is nothing he cannot do. Just believe in him and be thankful. What was hidden will be exposed to you. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. They even kept in a church, oh, they kept basin and invoked his name for him to appear. Did he appear? Ah, who did that? I said, if you have a thankful heart, it will protect you. Your enemy will not see you. Ah, they cannot touch you because you have a thankful heart. You are grateful to him. And God can never allow a grateful child of his to suffer or to be in lack or in want. He will always make a way for you to be thankful to God so that he can continue to bless you. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. That is why right here when you suffer, eh? When you are in penury, when you have any kind of uh, situation that does not tell well about you, you have to put yourself into fervent prayers. It means you don't have a thankful heart. Because if you were to have a thankful heart, God will protect you. He will look after you. You will be watching over you. You will never allow your feet to step on anything that is terrible for you. He will look after you. He will guide your feet even when you are moving. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So you see, in here, when you believe in him, when you are thankful to him, do you need injection? Do you need tablets? Then those who are taking tablets, injection, every minute, every hour, are they still part of us? Because you see a small child here, when he says, let all your problem goes away. Ah, a brother came here last week. He was sickly. The sister was complaining. As soon as the man had his dip in the pool of life here, all his sickness vanished. That is what our God can do for you. You only have to believe and be thankful. And from what I saw in the man, just by coming here, he was very grateful. He was very thankful. Because all these years he's been deceived. He has gone to all kinds of places. Toughest places that they say the place is tough. The place is good. They can do this, they can do that. He went to all those places. But the sickness was still there. But because he was grateful that somebody brought him here. And he believed that the God of brotherhood will do it for him. As soon as he entered water and came out, all his problems vanish. Yes, eh? All the wise crackers outside where he paid money, could they do it? Eh? That is why we, you are told here, everything done here is done free. Prayer is free. Baptism is free. Healing is free. Eh? No charge. Because his spirit is given freely. Do you pay God anything to give you Holy Spirit? Is it not free? But some people, they say they are doing healing. They charge. Everything they do, they charge. They give you vision, they charge. That is not brotherhood, though. That is no brotherhood. You wait and see. All those people that have been given brotherhood of the cross and star a bad name. Using father's name in vain. You go to a now. 
there's a place. They build small better outside and behind. There is shrine. Huh? Is that brotherhood? Will you say those people are grateful to God? God is the doer of everything. You don't need any shrine. You see what's going to happen to them? All those places. I say you see you. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ was thankful to his Father for all what he gave him ability to do. He said, I thank you, Father, the maker of heaven and earth, the doer of everything. But some of you take credit. I can do this. I can do that. Who are you? Eh? Ungrateful elements. God is the doer of everything. And there is nothing he cannot do. So don't lay claims to what God does. Give him all his honor. Give him all his credit. Give him all his praises. And he will bless you for it. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. John the Baptist did not hide it though. He said, I baptize with water for your repentance. But the one who is coming after me will be baptizing with God. Holy Spirit and fire. When once you are a grateful child, and once you believe in him, Holy Spirit will be yours. So you don't buy it. You cannot borrow it. Nobody will give it to you. Huh? Only God gives you. And as soon as he gives you, his salvation will be yours. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So dear brethren, like I said before, I'm not going to be tedious unto you. Let us hear our golden text once again. Our golden text is taken from the gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 3, verse 4 to 14. As it is written in the book of the words of Isaiah the prophet, saying, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his path straight. Every valley shall be filled, and every mountain and hill shall be brought low, and the crooks shall be made straight, and the rough ways shall be made smooth, and all flesh shall see the salvation of God. Then said he to the multitude that came forth to be baptized of him, O generation of vipers, who had warned you to flee from the wrath to come, bring forth therefore fruits worthy of repentance, and begin not to say within yourselves, We have Abraham to our father. For I say unto you, that God is able of these stones to raise up children unto Abraham. And now also the axe is laid unto the roots of the trees. Every tree, therefore, which bringeth not forth good fruit, is hand down and cast into the fire. And the people asked him, saying, What shall we do then? He answered and said unto them, He that hath two coats, let him impart to him that hath none. And he that hath meat, let him do likewise. Then came also publicans to be baptized. And said unto him, Master, what shall we do? And he said unto them, Exact no more than that which is appointed you. And the soldiers likewise demanded of him, saying, And what shall we do? And he said unto them, Do violence to no man, neither accuse any falsely, and be content with your wages. May the Lord bless his holy word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! Oh! the Holy Spirit. I'm sure you've all heard that text. How many have gone out and prepared the way of the Lord? Don't you go blocking people so that they will not progress? Eh? Don't you? Father has revealed God lavishly to each and every one of us. But do we practice what Father has taught us? Eh? 
Don't you give people counterfeit? You do as you like. You determine what you want. Now you've heard that text that we must bear good fruit. We must do good. All those in the process of acquiring things. He said, if you have two clothes, give one to the man that doesn't have. I'm here to see you. Always demanding, demanding, demanding. God, give me this. Give me that. Come on, thankful heart that he wants from you, cannot give. Is that not why you lack? Because you have refused to give him a thankful heart. But he has promised you all the crooked things, he will straighten them. So if you are still crooked now, know that he will straighten you. If you are a man, and a woman gives you something that you don't know yourself, you just follow. He <laughs> tells you sit on the floor, you sit. Lie on the ground, you lie. Anything she tells you, you do. Know that expiry date has come. That thing is going to leave you. Because as long as you have a thankful heart. It's not only women who. Men do it too. Abby? Uh-huh. You see a woman you can never have in your life. You go and do something. And the woman follows you like mumu. <laughs> Expiry date has come. Oh. Because God is the doer of everything. There's nothing he cannot do. Eh? He can even bring the mountain down and turn it into a level ground. You know? So all the tough, tough, tough things, God has brought them down. That is why scientists today, they don't know what to do again. Because they don't know God. They don't believe in God. They don't have a thankful heart to Him. So how can He continue to help them? Eh? All those who love, truly, He will bless you. Eh? All those who pretend to love, whereas they either want your money or they want what you have, they pretend to love you. They will suffer. Have genuine love to everybody. Love everybody. And you'll be blessed for it. What is it? You like to pretend to get what you want. Stop pretending. Because God is not a pretender. God is for all and sundry. He's capable of doing everything. So stop crying, stop weeping. Because when you cry, it means you are not thankful to him. All those who, when small things happen, they cry. You don't believe in God. You are not a believer. Because those who believe in him, they don't cry. They don't weep. They do not lament because their God is capable of doing everything. He can make stream to come out where there is no stream. Ah. There's nothing he cannot do. I said there is nothing he cannot do. Ah. It is not for you to make noise. You can do this, you can do that. He can't do anything without him doing it. So he is the doer of everything. That is why today, if you didn't have a thankful heart, you must have a thankful heart today. All those in the habit of complaining, complaining, complaining. You complain too much. You know, those who have a thankful heart, they do not complain. Because they know that the God they serve is capable of doing everything. If there's anybody here that teaches you 
Oh, don't like that person. Don't work with this person. Leave that person. Run away from such person. Oh, because I know the people are here. Always running people down. Don't run anybody down. Because our father never taught us to run anybody down. You are not a brotherhood, let me tell you now. Why can't you say good about somebody for a change? Always looking bad things to talk about, to say about somebody. You that is talking, are you good? Are you not a thief? Huh? So let all these things stop. And of course, I've already told you, if you do all those things, it means you are not grateful to God. Because just the earth you breathe is given to you by God, and you should be grateful. You should thank him for it. Not to go around looking for somebody's downfall. Eh? It is the same thing. The Bible says, if you have food, give to other people to eat. Those who don't have. And you, even if you give the food at all, you must put witchcraft into it. Ah. Is that godly? You want the person to be like you. So that he will be following you to meetings. Ah. But when you want to do your wickedness, you send that person to do wickedness. So that when trouble comes, you will hit that person. Leave all those things. In the end, you suffer for it. Be thankful to God. Quit sin. Quit backbiting. Quit knocking heads. Quit telling lies. Bearing false witness. What about fornication? You fornicate with everybody. In the end, no marriage. Huh? And the next thing, unfortunate guy from outside will come and marry you, and you leave brotherhood. Is that not what is going on? You walk up, pium, 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 pium. In the end, I'm suffering. Where is God of brotherhood? Some of you here are not here because you are following a man to another church. And the man said, if you don't come to my church, I won't marry you. Uh -huh. All the waka waka you used to waka here has paid off. Because men talk. Men say, that one, I know that one. Uh -huh. And you lose out. Be grateful to God. Serve him. Believe in him. And whatever you stand in need of, he will make sure you get it. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Idaradu, 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 mana tu kumaru enam tu diwana ba. Kenya kenya di dapari ku, seni dem coro, bote mono bo. Kenya kenya di seni dem coro, bote mono bo. Thank you.
I am stepping down. The stroke of the king, they say, is enough for the wise. So therefore, he who has yes, let him or her hear what the Holy Spirit has given to us this afternoon. I said, may he alone. May he alone. May he alone. Bless his holy words. <laughs> 